Originating from previous U.S. black programs, the Bird of Prey was created to delve into the intricacies of stealth flight. The U.S. military's first ever stealth plane, the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, was introduced in October 1983 with an F prefix indicating it was a fighter jet. However, the jet was not primarily designed for aerial combat purposes. The aircraft could carry only two 2,000-pound bombs, but the enemy found it nearly impossible to detect thanks to its incredibly low radar cross-section of just 0.11 inches, making it a master at evading radar. Towards the end of the 1980, the U.S. military declared a new advanced tactical fighter contract to surpass the F-117, open for bidding. Three companies, Lockheed, Northrop, and McDonnell Douglas, competed for the coveted prize. McDonnell Douglas grappled with obtaining contracts for tactical military jets. Their bids for the advanced tactical fighter program in 1986 were rejected and they were kept out of the running. After joining hands with Northrop Grumman to build the IF-23, they were defeated by the F-22 in 1991. After facing significant losses, the company's top brass realized they needed to recover their footing in the market. To stay ahead of the competition, they recognized the significance of both affordability and stealth technology for future success. Consequently, they kicked off a program in 1992 aimed at expanding their capabilities. The program was centered around the development of a groundbreaking research aircraft, now popularly known as the Bird of Prey, which involved design, fabrication, and testing. Designed for experimentation with low observable stealth practices and innovative aircraft engineering, the Bird of Prey is a single-seat technology demonstrator. Operating between 1992 and 1999, this secret project pushed the limits of aircraft design and construction. Taking its name from a Klingon spacecraft featured in Star Trek, the YF-118G jet boasted a striking exterior and interior design. The fuselage, wing, and exterior were meticulously crafted to minimize radar cross-section and infrared signature, going beyond the limits of existing stealth technology. Aesthetically, the paint shading was also carefully designed to obscure the fuselage's true shape in daylight, making this aircraft truly unique from its stealth counterparts like the F-117 and B-2. While not immediately apparent, the company also dedicated significant efforts to achieving their objectives of enhancing the affordability of their products by streamlining the designing and assembly processes. The engineers employed 3D rendering and computer programs to quickly prototype components and simulate their performance in the aircraft systems. This reduced the need to repeatedly produce and test physical components. The drive for affordability even extended to developing tooling that is easier and more economical to manufacture. The team worked hard to cut down the aircraft's expenses by opting for off-the-shelf components. They chose a business jet engine and sourced landing gear from Beechcraft turboprops. A Harrier ejection seat and cockpit controls from different tactical jets were employed. Scouting through scrapyards, the team managed to keep a tight rein on the balance sheet. Reportedly, the complete program was accomplished within a budget of $67 million, which was even less than the cost of two brand new 737 at that time. Once the Bird of Prey took its first flight in September 1996, it became evident that the highly swept 23-foot span wing aircraft was inept at flying. However, this was not a concern since its airframe prioritized low observability over aerodynamic performance. Consequently, it had lackluster handling characteristics, speeds, and altitudes.
With a thrust of 3,190 pounds, the Pratt & Whitney JT-15D engine had a maximum takeoff weight of 7,400 pounds. This put it in the same thrust to weight category as jets. But the craft's stealthy design prioritized performance over speed. According to Boeing, the plane's top operational speed maxes out at 260 knots with a limit of 20,000 feet altitude. Pilatus PC-12 planes can soar at higher altitudes with greater velocity. Despite initial setbacks, the Bird of Prey persevered and underwent 38 test flights between 1996 and 1999. Its success was enough to withstand Boeing's acquisition of McDonnell Douglas in 1998. The aircraft was unveiled to the public in late 2002, and it was subsequently gifted to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it can still be viewed to this day.